This device is billed as the world's first smart heat coaster. Pop on your cup of coffee and it'll tell you the exact temperature of your brew. Then dial in your preferred temp and the coaster will bring your drink up to that temperature and hold it there. And it does it through infrared sensing, but how well does it work? Well, I've put it through a series of tests. Let's get into it. Now I'm using the Heat Coaster Pro full set from Mikago, which is honestly quite beautifully presented. Crack open the box and the Heat Coaster Pro consists of a number of parts. So there's the coaster itself. It's bigger than a regular drinks coaster, of course, but it's small enough to happily sit on my desk. The coaster contains a hot surface. And yes, the warning is not kidding. This does get hot, so beware of that. There's also the infrared receiver on one end and the IR emitter in the back. That's what provides the temperature reading data. Now the use of IR is interesting and does come with some restrictions, which we'll get into in a bit. The coaster also has a screen on the front for displaying temperature and two thermostat buttons for dialing in the temp. Now the box also contains a ceramic coffee mug and this has a pretty nice feel to it actually. I really enjoyed the look and the shape of this and yeah, it claims to be completely homemade. Pretty cool. Also in the box is a lid that fits the cup with a spoon shaped hole and a metal stirring spoon. Overall, everything had a quite high end feel. So let's put this to the test. So I brewed up some pour over coffee in my Chemex and added it into the supplied coffee cup placed on the heat coaster. The first thing I wanted to check was the temperature reading. Now I was expecting an instant reading, but that was not the case. The display takes a minute to get a steady temperature reading. Presumably this has something to do with the temperature of the coffee cup itself warming up to the liquid within it. My own infrared thermometer, which has the big advantage of a direct line of sight to the coffee, gave me a reading of 130 Fahrenheit while the heat coaster recorded 128 Fahrenheit. I don't know which of these two devices is actually correct, so I'm merely looking for parity here, and this gave me some confidence that the heat coaster was reporting temperature well. The system by default was set to 150 Fahrenheit, that's 66C, which is a bit on the hot side for me. So using the buttons, I dialed down the set temperature to 130 Fahrenheit. Now, my next test was to see if the heat coaster could consistently maintain that temperature. So I set a timer for 10 minutes and waited. The manual claims a heat variance of around two Fahrenheit, meaning the coffee should fluctuate only within two degrees above or below the set temperature. But three minutes in, I was a full 12 Fahrenheit hotter than intended. However, the system seemed to stabilize and by the end of the 10 minutes, I was exactly at the temperature I set. While I don't know the logic the heat coaster is using to dial in temperature, I'm thinking the initially cold coffee mug and my initial temperature setting of 150 Fahrenheit might have factored into that early overshoot, but it fixed things pretty quickly and I'll show you a longer test in a moment. But do consider that the first few minutes may see temperature readings that are a bit spiky. Next up, I wanted to test the different coffee vessels. Different surfaces and different thicknesses are going to impact temperature detection accuracy, and the manual recommends using ceramic cups. I tried my own ceramic mug, and after the temperature ramp up, this was again reporting temperatures within a few degrees of my own thermometer. Next, I tried some cups that the manual warns against using. So first I used a metal cup. Now this gave me a reading, but a wildly inaccurate one. It thought the coffee was far warmer than it really was. I then tried a glass tumbler and couldn't get a reading at all. Now I wondered if that was because the liquid in the tumbler was higher than the IR emitter and receiver, but using a beer pint glass didn't help things either. No reading at all. So in line with the recommendations in the manual, stick with ceramic cups. Now the final test was reheating. Honestly, I don't see this as something I'll ever likely do myself, but the heat coaster can reheat coffee from room temperature to the temp of your choosing. Now the manual lists a couple of tables showing approximately how long this will take. There are three main factors here, the set temperature of course, but also the amount of liquid to reheat and whether or not the lid is used. So I chilled down my coffee to room temperature added the lid and waited to see how long it would take to reach 130 Fahrenheit. The cup had 180 milliliters of coffee in it and the manual estimated that would take about 18 minutes to reach temperature. And that was about right in line with what I saw. Out of interest, I left the coaster running for another seven minutes to see how it would handle holding steady temps. And this sucker was locked in just one degree of temperature variance. Pretty impressive.
So overall, what are my thoughts on the Heat Coaster Pro? Well, I'm a coffee sipper, so I'll often use a thermos to keep my coffee hot while I nurse it over the course of 30 minutes or so. What the Heat Coaster Pro lets me do is enjoy my coffee in a nice ceramic mug, sitting on a coaster that doesn't look out of place on my desk, and enjoy coffee at the exact temperature I want it. For me, that's a win, and I'll be making good use of this.